Good morning. Thank you for attending the Saginaw Fire Department's annual award ceremony and open house. The Saginaw Fire Department has been serving the citizens of Saginaw since 1858. Every year we gather in October to celebrate the brave actions of our firefighters and citizens. I ask that we all bow our heads. Father God, creator of heaven and earth, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory as we lift up and magnify your holy name. Father, we thank you for this day, and we ask that you preside over this awards and memorial ceremony. Bless everyone in attendance and those watching from TV or a mobile device. We thank you for each award recipient this year. Let them be recognized for their courage and their self-sacrifice. May their recognition be an encouragement to anyone else to go above and beyond the call of duty whenever the opportunity arises. We ask that you place your hedge of protection over each firefighter, police officer, emergency worker, as they keep our community safe. Send your mighty angels to assist them as they render aid to those in need. We ask that you guide our community leaders, the mayor, the city council, the state representatives, senators, and the governor, that they may continue to support our emergency personnel and find resources for them during these challenging times. And finally, Father, we ask that you protect every citizen from harm. But if needed, let our first responders perform to the best of their abilities to save the day. And let the message of fire safety direct us to stay alert and aware for our own well-being as of that of our fellow neighbors. All this we ask in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I will be reading the proclamation that was given to our firefighters at the beginning of the month, and it reads as follows. Whereas the city of Saginaw is committed to ensure the safety and security of all th those living and visiting our city. Members of the Saginaw Fire Department are dedicated to, to reduce the occurrence of home fires and home fire injuries through prevention and protection education. Whereas fire is a serious public safety concern both locally and national. According to the National Fire Prevention Association stats, shows that four out of five fire, fire deaths occur in homes. And whereas three out of five homes, fire deaths results from fire and protection without working with smoke detectors. Stats show that, stats also show that smoke alarms cut the risk of death. Now there be, now there be resolved, be resolved, I, Brenda F. Moore, Mayor of the City of Saginaw, do proclaim October the 19th through the 15th, 2022 of our Lord and Savior as Fire Prevention Week. Throughout the City of Saginaw, I urge all residents of the city to protect their homes and families by healing the important safety message of Fire Prevention Week 2022. And to support the many public safety activities and efforts of the City of Saginaw Fire Department. In witness whereof I here unto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Saginaw to be affixed this the 26th of September, the year of our Lord and Savior. Brenda F. Moore, Mayor Michael Balls, Mayor Pro Tem, Annie Bench, George Copeland, Michael R. Flores, Monique Lamar Sylvia, Bill Ostash, Autumn L. Serger, and Reggie Williams II. And Timothy Morales is our city manager. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Fire won't wait. Plan your escape. According to the FPA data, home, the place where people feel the safest from fire, is actually where the greatest risk is. 74% of all fire deaths occur in the home. When, a, when the fire does occur, it's more likely to be serious. People are more likely to die today in a fire than they were in 1980. Today's homes burn faster and hotter than they used to, minimizing the amount of time occupants have to escape. In a typical home fire, you may have as little as two minutes to get out when the smoke alarm sounds. The Fire Prevention Week theme, Fire Won't Wait, Plan Your Escape, promotes 
potentially life-saving messages that can mean the difference between life and death in a fire. Developing a home escape plan with all the members of your household and practicing it regularly ensures that everyone knows when the smoke alarm sounds and use that time wisely. So make sure the home escape plan meets the needs of all your family members, including those with sensory or physical disabilities. <clears throat> smoke alarms should be installed inside every sleeping room, outside each sleeping room, living room, and common area. And smoke alarms should be interconnected. Know at least two ways out of your house. If possible, make sure all doors and windows open easily. Have an outside meeting place, <clears throat> a safe distance away from your home where everybody should meet. Practice your home fire drill at least twice a year with everyone in the household, including guests. So remember, fire won't wait, plan your escape. On May 7, 2022, the Saginaw Fire Department responded to a person on the Rust Street Bridge threatening to jump into the water. Battalion Chief James Foreman arrived on the scene along with Saginaw Police to find a person in distress attempting to lay down and roll off the bridge into the river. Saginaw police officers were able to hold on to the person while Battalion Chief Foreman stepped over the guardrail using a rope and safety knot to secure the subject, preventing them from falling into the water. The Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present Battalion Chief James Foreman with the Distinguished Service Award for his quick and efficient actions that resulted in a safe outcome for a citizen. On July 24, 2022, the Saginaw Fire Department responded to the intersection of Weber and Robinwood for a report of a vehicle accident with a trapped occupant. Engine 1 arrived on the scene to find a vehicle had left the roadway, struck a fire hydrant, power pole, and then a tree, resulting in severe damage to the vehicle. Engine 2 and the battalion chief arrived on scene and both crews began working in unison to remove the vehicle's doors, roof, and raise the dashboard to assist in extricating the victim. Once successfully removed from the damaged vehicles, crews helped load the patient into an awaiting MMR ambulance, where he was then transported to the hospital. The Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present the Unit Citation Award to Battalion Chief Scott Yaw, Lieutenant Brad Lujak, Engineer August Elias, Engineer Sean Gerard, Firefighter Andrew Allen, Firefighter Cody Beaver, and Firefighter Logan Zollinger for their determination, expertise, and ability to work quickly and efficiently in order to achieve a successful outcome. On May 25, 2022, the Saginaw Fire Department responded to 2236 King Road for a mutual aid request from the Bridgeport Fire Department for a structure fire with victims trapped. Engine 1 and Battalion Chief Foreman arrived first on the scene of a two-story, six-unit apartment building with heavy fire coming from the first and second floors of apartment 5. Battalion Chief Foreman assumed initial incident command and directed Engine 1 to secure a water supply while Bridgeport and additional Saginaw fire crews arrived on the scene. An aggressive interior attack was conducted in an attempt to rescue the trapped occupant. Crews were faced with extreme fire and heat conditions, causing minor burns to firefighters and damaged protective equipment while attempting to find the trapped occupant. Unfortunately, due to the extreme heat and smoke conditions, the home was unsurvivable. The Saginaw Fire Department would like to present the Unit Citation Award to Battalion Chief James Foreman, Captain William McCarthy, Lieutenant Sean Beach, Engineer Will William Bookinger, Engineer August Elias, Engineer Sean Gerard, Firefighter Eric Glugos, Firefighter Justin Kelly, Firefighter Chad Leach, Firefighter Logan Zollinger, and Firefighter Brandon Mulvaney for their collaborative efforts during this incident. On February 21, 2022, Engine 1 responded to a report of a cardiac arrest at 427 South 7th. On arrival, they found MMR on scene providing CPR to a 49-year-old male. 
Engine 1 quickly jumped in to assist MMR personnel by utilizing the Lucas device to provide the necessary compressions. After several minutes, it was found the patient had regained a pulse and was immediately transported to the hospital by MMR and Engine 1 personnel. The Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present the life-saving award to Captain William McCarthy, Engineer Sean Gerard, and Firefighter Gustavo Burgess Borton for their quick and proficient actions in a positive outcome. <laughs> On March 4, 2022, Engine 2 responded to a reported vehicle fire with trapped occupants. Upon arrival, Engine 2 found a vehicle with heavy fire in the front of the vehicle. Engine 2 quickly pulled the hose line to begin extinguishing the fire and cooling down the passenger compartment, allowing access to the trapped occupant. Engine 2 was able to remove the woman from the vehicle and begin first aid until MMR arrived on the scene. Engine 2 assisted with loading the patient into the ambulance to be transported to the hospital. Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present the Meritorious Service Award to Lieutenant Sean Beach, Engineer August Elias, and Firefighter Brandon Mulvaney for their swift and successful rescue of the victim. <clears throat> the Fire Chief and staff of the Saginaw Fire Department would like to recognize Training Safety Officer Brandon Hospeck for his leadership and dedication. Brandon has taken on many important tasks and continues to perform at a very high level. He was key in the delivery of a live fire training building and development of a live fire training program that will benefit firefighters from our area for several years. Brandon is the lead instructor for the High School Fire Academy that trains and certifies local students. He secured a grant from the Department of Homeland Security that will allow the department to train and certify 11 firefighters to become NFPA fire inspectors. Brandon leads a committee that recently purchased a new Rosenbauer engine and aerial apparatus. Brandon has been tireless in his efforts to ensure the next generation of firefighters will have the proper tools and training to continue the tradition of excellence at the Saginaw Fire Department. Chief Tom Rames is proud to present the Chief Special Recognition Award to Training Safety Officer Brandon Hausbeck for his leadership and dedication. The Fire Chief and staff of the Saginaw Fire Department would like to recognize Captain William McCarthy for his contributions, leadership, and willingness to assume additional responsibilities to improve the department. Over the past year, Bill has created work schedules and maintained regular inspections of the fire department training facility and station number three to ensure the properties are well maintained and provide a positive city image. Bill is also a member of the department's grant team, assisting with writing grants and securing funds that have been used for training and equipment. Bill is a live burn instructor and has assisted training fire department members and outside fire agencies with live burn evolutions in order to prepare firefighters for the rigors of actual firefighting. Bill's years of experience and training with the live burn building have been a tremendous asset to the department and neighboring agencies. Bill maintains and purchases department uniforms, making sure all members are properly outfitted and looking professional throughout the year. Bill displays excellent leadership skills and is a valuable source of knowledge. Bill has taken the lead in training the probationary firefighters during the orientation period. Chief Tom Rames is proud to present the Chief Special Recognition Award to Captain William McCarthy for his contributions to the department in 2022. The Saginaw Fire Department would like to recognize Battalion Chief James Champney and Battalion Chief Scott Yaw for 25 years of service. <laughs> when I call your name, you can stand to be recognized. The Saginaw Fire Department would like to recognize these members for their 2022 promotions. Captain Tate Jozuski as Battalion Chief, Engineer Michael Campbell to Lieutenant, 
and firefighter Jason Wineland to engineer. Also stand to be recognized, the Saginaw Fire Department would like to welcome two new probationary firefighters to its ranks. Probationary firefighters Casey Rivette and Logan Zollinger. During the 2021 and 2022 school year, the Saginaw Fire Department partnered with Delta College and the Saginaw Intermediate School District to offer high school fire academy to local juniors and seniors. This unique program offers local students the opportunity to attain their State of Michigan Firefighter 1 and 2 certification upon graduation from high school. Through hard work and dedication, six local students successfully completed the program and have received their State Firefighter certification. The Saginaw Fire Department would like to recognize Cooper Roberts, John J. Lynham, Chris Dill, McKenna Lounsbury, Mason Yun, and Robert Jeter for their dedication and perseverance that earned them their firefighter certification and ensured the inaugural year of the high school fire academy was a success. On to the 2022 Firefighter of the Year. Engineer Sean Girard has set himself apart from his peers through his professionalism, dedication, and willingness to do whatever is needed to benefit the Saginaw Fire Department and the citizens of Saginaw. Sean has taken on numerous projects around the stations that have reduced costs to the department, decreased the downtime of apparatus, and increased the safety of not only his co-workers, but the community as a whole. Sean has taken the initiative to become a certified self-contained breathing apparatus technician. With this training, Sean has joined the department's SCBA team, which is responsible for the repair and maintenance of the 50 breathing apparatus firefighters use on a daily basis. Sean is continuing to strive for lifelong learning by taking courses through Delta College in automotive repair. Sean has put this knowledge to use on numerous occasions by completing necessary repairs and maintenance on the department's frontline apparatus. These selfless actions have saved the department both time and money. Furthermore, by making these repairs in-house, Sean has kept apparatus in service, giving his coworkers the best equipment possible to keep the citizens of Saginaw safe. Sean has also put his prior military training to good use by completing the reciprocity requirements for fire inspector. Through this program, Sean has become a licensed State of Michigan fire inspector and is now able to assist the Fire Prevention Bureau with annual fire inspections of city businesses. These inspections directly affect the safety of customers visiting the businesses and help promote a positive relationship with local business owners. As a member of the Apparatus Committee, Sean was instrumental in the acquisition of the new engine that was added to the department's fleet. This apparatus will help improve firefighters' safety and efficiency and will ultimately lower maintenance costs incurred by the Saginaw Fire Department. The Saginaw Fire Department is proud to present the 2022 Firefighter of the Year Award to engineer Sean Girard for his service and dedication. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you, this is an honor. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife, Melissa, and my family, my fellow firefighters for their support and encouragement, and also the command staff for letting me do what I do. Thank you. In honor of the Saginaw firefighters, who in the line of duty gave the ultimate sacrifice, we will now have a roll call and a toll of the bell signifying their last alarm. William E. Pringle. James Kennefick. Chief George Wallace. Marcy C. Wilton. 
John Collier. Eugene Parker. Henry Flack. Paul Jonitz. Earl A. Rock. David D. Cassidy. Edward J. Thomas. A. William Dijak. Roscoe Hall. Thank everybody for coming today. I'd also like to recognize uh, retirees of the Saginaw Fire Department, if you could please stand. We strive to, uh, to continue the service of excellence that's uh, been carved out by these retirees and uh, we teach it to our new fellow firefighters as well. Thanks for coming, I hope you enjoyed uh, the ceremony.